We'd like to call this meeting to order. I'd like to thank everyone for attending tonight's meeting. We're going to start out with a moment of silence. So let us take a moment uh, for each of us to reflect on our own faith and place our work here today. Stand with me, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll call this evening all members present, along with Superintendent Blake Conley and Recording Secretary Jessica McFarland. Our upcoming board meetings, August 15th, will be a public work session at the administration office at 6 p.m. August 19th will be a regular meeting at Mentone Elementary at 6 p.m. September 12th will be a public work session at the admin office at 6 p.m. September 16th will be a regular meeting at Mentone at 6 p.m. October 10th will be another public work session at the admin office at 6 p.m. October 14th will be a regular meeting at Mentone at 6 p.m move right on the spotlight on the valley welcoming our new employees i just would like to point out on that october 14th regular board meeting that's actually the second uh, monday of the, of the month we moved that up because of fall break on october 21st that's a, a deviation from what we um, have, have typically done for the third monday but um, we would like to uh, introduce uh, new employees Preska, you've got some folks that you brought to the board tonight. Absolutely. I've got, uh, I guess you call them three amigos here tonight. But, uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, we'll start in order here. Uh, first off, we've got Andrew Childress. Uh, he is going to be our uh, new PE strength and conditioning coach. We are really excited about having An Andrew. Um, he has come highly, highly, highly recommended um, from, uh, from some local people and then, and then also for some references I call. Um, from Mishawaka area, so familiar with this kind of area, played football and wrestling in Mishawaka, um, and, uh, and then went to Ball State, studied exercise science there, um, has had some, had some very impressive internships um, at Ball State University, working with various sports, uh, girls soccer, track and field, um, did an internship in Florida, uh, training NFL combine athletes, um, and did a, uh, an internship at Michigan State University, um, working with uh, different sports, including men's basketball. So has had a really, really uh, great experiences. Is really interested in getting back. Uh, he's actually been most recently working with younger kids in a basketball program in Illinois. Uh, wants to get in working with high schoolers where he fell in love with um, exercise and, and, uh, and that commitment to health. So uh, Andrew Childress. Uh, next I'd like to introduce is uh, Joseph Michal right here. He is uh, gonna be an English teacher next year for us. Um, Again, a uh, real talented uh, teacher here. Uh, the best quality, perhaps, for him is that he's a boilermaker. Uh, <laughs> so we're looking for the best. I go straight there. No. Um, so he just graduated from Purdue University, uh, and uh, and you know has, has highly recommended from there in their program. Uh, know the family, uh, and he's just going to be a, a really great asset uh, and a great relationship builder with kids. Uh, and last but not least, we've got uh, Justin Goodenkopf. He's going to be a math teacher for us, coming all the way from Arizona. Uh, he actually commented on his sweater. He said it's like uh, winter here right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, he's uh, he um, is uh, is uh, dating a, a Valley grad and is moving back to the area. Uh, had taught uh, at Rose Academies in Arizona, English and math. He'll actually be dual certified, which is a huge asset for us. Uh, and uh, <coughs> really talented teacher. So I present to you three amazing educators. Thank you, Mr. Good to have you aboard. Welcome. Welcome. The Valley family. Thank you for all the time you put in, Mr. Prescott, with, with getting these great candidates in here, getting them, getting them through, and we're approved tonight. So thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, we'll spot light on that one. We'll move on to items from the visitors. Anyone here this evening that would like to speak to the board? All right, we'll move on right along with business here. Approval of the consent agenda. <coughs> Number one, approve the minutes of the June 13, 2019 executive session. Number two, approve the minutes of the June 17, 2019 regular meeting. Number three, approve the hiring of the following personnel. Andrew Childress, physical education, strength and conditioning teacher at the high school. Justin Goodenkoff, math teacher at the high school. Joseph Mashala, English teacher at the high school. Peggy McQuinnan, instructional assistant at the high school. Alexis Wise, cook at the high school. Katie Kaufman, physical education teacher at the middle school. Christy Smith, mental health therapist at the school corporation. Number four, approve the following extracurricular assignments. Tiffany Crocky, JV girls basketball coach at the high school. Number five, accept the resignation of the following personnel. Shannon Dickey, cook at the middle school. Alan Hoyt, automotive technology teacher at the high school. Brandon Oswald, custodian, Mentone Elementary. Tina Berg, math teacher at the middle school. Greg Prater, varsity baseball coach at the high school. Number six, approve the following facility use contracts. Beaver Dam Preschool and Jack and Jill Preschool. Number seven, approve the real estate lease with Kosciuszko County Head Start and Cardinal Services. And number eight, approve the out-of-state professional leave request. Do I hear a motion to approve the consent agenda as read? I'll make that motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. Is there any further discussion on the consent agenda tonight? All in favor, state by saying aye. 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 All opposed, state by saying no. Motion carried. Move on to business items, approval of claims and payroll this evening. We have one pre-written claim listing this evening dated June 30th, 2019 at the amount of $2,617,216.84. Our regular claim listing is dated July 15th, 2019 at the amount of $254,737.90. Uh, we have four payrolls this evening dated June 7th, 2019 the amount of $85,517.16. That was an ECA payroll uh, June 14, 2019, in the amount of $370,941.15. That was a regular payroll uh, June 20, uh, 21, 2019, in the amount of $34,700. That was the uh, bonus for classified personnel who have worked for us uh, start before January 1st. Uh, that was the two, $200 bonus for those folks. And June 28, 2019, in the amount of $442,874.78, that was a regular payroll. Moving on to the financial report. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't get it. Yeah. That's yeah. reading a lot of numbers. I understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can trick. <laughs> Do I hear a uh, motion to approve claims and payroll this evening? Do I hear a second? I'll second. Ready for the discussion? All right. All in favor, state by saying aye. 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 All opposed, state by saying no. Motion carried. Now we'll discuss. Okay. <laughs> School board has been provided the reconciled bank statement and monthly financial report of funds for the month of June 19, or two, 2019. In summary, our receipts and disbursements for June 2019 are total receipts for all funds $5,736,834.56, total disbursements for all funds $3,739,000. $184.26. I think we have any old business this evening. We'll move on to new business. Number one, accept the following grant. Yes, Lori, would you like to talk about the, uh, the grant you were involved with with uh, Kosciuszko County REMC? Sure. 
Um, a couple months ago, we came to you asking for an out-of-state conference request just in case we got a grant to go um, observe a school in Pennsylvania and attend their workshops. Um, and it was on an introduction to positive ed. And what positive ed is, um, it's a whole school transformation using well-being science. And so we got to take um, Maggie White, who we just hired while she was out there at the conference. Um, she's going to be um, a resource teacher at the middle school and a social emotional learning uh, coordinator for the middle school. And um, she got to meet with some of the top experts in well-being and social emotional learning while we were at the conference. So the timing was impeccable, and I'm so excited to have her at the middle school. Um, positive Ed, um, it's, there's really six domains that they teach. It's positive relationships, positive emotions, positive health, positive engagement, positive positive accomplishment and positive purpose. Um, there's four key processes and um, we'd like to um, take it a step further and apply for another grant to bring this to Valley. Um, we were really excited with what we learned and um, very grateful to the opportunity to take Maddie there um, through the Kosciuszko County RMC Roundup Grant. Awesome. Questions? Thank you, it was a yeah. quick turnaround. We got the grant on a Tuesday afternoon and had to fly out Monday morning. Thanks for all your hard work. Thank you. Uh, we're here motion to approve the grant. I make that motion now to approve the grant. Your second. Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. Number two. Uh, we've got initial consideration of following school board policy changes to teacher appreciation grants, uh, early entrance to kindergarten expanded criminal history checks, and then homeless students. Um, I can bring the changes up uh, in draft form. We, we talked about all of these at uh, the public work session last Thursday. Uh, in terms of the teacher appreciation grants, this is something that just needs to be uh, approved annually. We're not, I'm not recommending any changes with, with this in terms of how we've got this set up. So you can see that there, there are no changes within uh, my request in terms of the, the, the document that is on board docs. Um, as, we, as we look at the early entrance to kindergarten, um, we, we did add here, we updated the Indiana Code, and with this situation, as we can um, now have students who um, are, are turning five uh, before September 1st, we can now count down. And we've got that highlighted here, any kindergarten student who is accepted to the kindergarten under this policy shall be counted by the superintendent for state tuition support in accordance with the state law. So we're, we're really just uh, coming in line with, with what everyone else is doing <coughs> with that situation. Uh, the, the homelessness, uh, the, this, is, this policy is being updated. You can see what's being stricken. Um, and then what we're, what we're adding here is in alignment with the, the, the federal legislation that was passed so all school corporations in the state will be making these, these different changes. There, there are not a lot of changes. As you can see, it's just more, more defined in terms of what we, what we need to do. We need to do professional development with, with all of our teachers. Uh, that is, that's kind of the, the largest requirement that, that we're going to be doing here in August as, as we meet and bring everybody back. Um, the, the last um, is our criminal history check. Uh, policy as we're working with our uh, volunteer coaches uh, you can see the, the green there that we that we updated you can see that for a, a coach of any sport from kindergarten through grade 12 uh, we will be asking that that, that uh, criminal history check uh, be done and it be on file before those uh, those folks begin working with any of our students so this brings these four policies up to date um, if you have any questions, um, but we will we will bring this to you in, in August to, to, to be approved and then uh, change in our school board policy. Thanks, Blake. I don't believe we have anything else tonight, so we can adjourn early this evening. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you.